Back to another of our fundamentals and one that we use a lot in our system. It's called the Bong Sao. I probably don't say that exactly right again. It's um, uh, trans Cantonese and my, my English uh, accent doesn't uh, do it very well. So the Pong Sao block is another block that you'll see executed in many different Kung Fu, Fu styles, especially the Wing Chun style. Um, it's also something that's executed many different ways in our style. Um, we have the execution of it low for a mid to low block, or we have it executed high as a high block, but we also use it as a strike, as an elbow. So I'm gonna show you the correct way to find the angle of your Pong Sao block when we do it low uh, and then high. So to get the correct angle for the high, or sorry, I should say the low Pong Sao block, I want you to have your arm relaxed at your side. Then I just want you to gently lift the palm up. No tension here still, just a slight contraction of the bicep to get this angle here. Now, to get this angle that is correct, I want you to now press like you're drilling out. So from here, drill out, turning the forearm and lifting the elbow so it's like this. So now you see you have this shape, right? Bring it back in, then point the fingers down and raise the elbow slightly. Not too much, keep the shoulder down, don't lift the shoulder. Bring this here and push it in like that. Bring it back to relax. Push it out, bring it back in. Other side, push it out, bring it back in. Push it out, you see the elbow, shoulder down, bring it back in. Fingers out, down, see the angle I'm creating. Watch the twisting of the forearm, the hand. H hands are relaxed out back in hands relaxed out back in so i'm just stabbing out with the fingers and i'm lifting the elbow so i'm doing it a long way out at the moment i just do it like this normally nice and close so i'll show you that this way so i'm not stabbing out into the center i'm not stabbing way out there i'm stabbing here like that elbow lifting stabbing here like that elbow lifting then i add the backhand for stability like this so, I stab out and I add this hand in here. Now, when I do this block, I want you to see how it's covering and where it's covering. So if I was to do it from a straight punch here, I drop the elbow down and now I finish that twisting and push it out. Now you see it clear. Is anything coming straight at me here or anything coming in a circular fashion this way? We use this for destroying kicks. What do I mean by destroying? We come in and when some, if we can read a kick early, we'll come in and we'll collect the kick on the inner thigh. So we don't want to be standing out at the foot, foot uh, length. So if I'm throwing a kick, I don't want to be blocking this kick out where the power is at the foot. I want to see it early if you can, come in and block up on the inside of the leg um, to, do, to get the most effect where there's no power, but also when we do it just above the knee, it's a really effective strike as well as block. It hurts a lot. So, we practice that from here. You bring the hand down and then thrust it forward, lifting the elbow. Place the other one on the top for stability, like that. Again, from this way, the, the hand comes down, push forward, press this hand in here. Fingers can be tied here because you you're gonna be taking a kick, but you don't want to do this. This is the main mistake, this one. So the angle of this forearm, is going to allow any kind of kick or any kind of strike up here to go straight underneath. That's why we need that angle like this and it needs to be uh, projected down enough to stop anything coming from here up. From here again, project it out, you have that angle. Not like this, you see a lot of people do this, that works up high, which we're gonna do now. So from low again, don't do this one. Make sure you have the angle like this, pressing out so it covers you if you're trying to use it against a kick or something like that. Okay, Pong Sao high now. So pretty similar. Now we're just looking at reducing that angle downwards a little bit. So we literally come up, shoulders still packed down. We still have that rotational feeling in the arm, twisting in. We can use this as an elbow strike or we can use it as a block. So same action here, the twisting and the rotating, but now we draw this up, it's not angled down, and we still have this hand here 
for stability or for our next defense or attack. Okay, that's the Pong Sao block. The high one's pretty easy. You just need to get that twisting action in the forearm, which you'll already get if you're practicing that low one and then transition into the high one. That's the Pong Sao. Practice that. Make your Kung Fu awesome. See you next time.